making polymer balls. You might know what these are if you've ever played jackstones before. These are the bouncy plastic toy balls. And here today to join me is my sister Luisa Hello. Padilla. But before we start the activity, here's a brief background on what polymers are. Polymers are macromolecules that are formed by smaller repeating molecules called monomers. They exist naturally in cellulose and protein, but can also be made synthetically like in plastic. The process of making them by binding the monomers together is called polymerization. Some samples of polymers are plastic, protein, rubber, and paper. The main ingredient in this experiment is polyvinyl alcohol-based glue. So what kind of glue would be preferable? So in this experiment, as you can see, I'm using ordinary school Elmer's glue. And basically any glue out there is PVA-based. Polyvinyl alcohol is actually a water-soluble polymer. So that's why they're called polymer balls. Exactly. The other ingredient in this experiment is borax. Its scientific name is sodium borate decahydrate. So where can you get it? Well, actually you can't buy borax in groceries here in the Philippines. You can buy them at agricultural depots or you can order them from the States. So what borax actually does in this experiment is that it links the chains of polymers in the glue together. So that's why it's called the cross-linker of the experiment. If you want to see the full chemical reaction that happens when borax, glue, and water are mixed together, please click on the link below this video. So now on to the actual activity. So the first step is to weigh out 0.5 grams of the sodium borate. But so, if you yeah. don't have a weighing scale, you can just measure out 1 8 teaspoon of borax. Okay, so let's begin. Here, do you think this will be enough? Yeah, that's enough. So the second step is to measure 25 milliliters of water. And did you use regular tap water? No, I actually used distilled water. It should be distilled water, so there are no contaminants. So after that, you pour the water in the graduated cylinder into the beaker with the sodium borate. Okay. Once, that, once that's done, you can use the stirring rod to stir the mixture. Okay. Try to dissolve the borax powder as much as possible. You just keep mixing until it's all dissolved. You can crush the small clumps like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you're done mixing, I think that's okay already. We're going to pour out 10 milliliters of glue onto the aluminum covered plate. So 10 ml is around this much. And once you have the glue on the plate, you can pour out the borax solution onto the glue. If you want to color your polymer ball, you should add it to this instead of the glue. It's easier to mix. And then mix and then it again with the stirring rod. Okay, that's okay. You can pour it onto the glue already. So I pour the whole thing? Yes. And immediately the mixture will harden, so you have to mix it with a stirring rod. So I just... There, you can see it coagulates almost immediately, but it's still a bit sticky, so you have to keep mixing it with the borax. Once it's solidified, you can pour out the excess borax solution. You can do it. So I'll just get this sure. ball. Well, not yet a ball. Then you can start rolling it with your hands. It takes around two minutes for the ball to actually dry up and two more minutes to actually get it smooth and looking like a ball. If ever the ball is too sticky, you can place it back into the borax solution because this is what reduces the stickiness. So it's looking nice. Okay, let me check. Sure. So, so this is the finished product. As you can see, it turned our hands blue. And it can get quite messy sometimes. It's not exactly completely dry yet. It'll take around one day for it to get completely dry, but it's already bouncy. But here are some samples we made earlier this morning. Really 
really bouncy already. So thank you for helping me today and I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.